Hello everybody, this is Sonia. Now I've come back on here today because I wanted to show you what I've been working on. I'm hoping I don't stick my hand or anything else in that bit of paint there that I've got that I'm going to use. So I really like to make these um, beads. Now I've only found two that I had done earlier because these were made a long time ago and I think I've actually shared some of these. These are the bone shaped ones that I did. They're made out of um, paper and I just put two pieces of wire in, a piece of wire through it and made a curly up bit on either end so you can fasten it into something. And this is one that I made also of paper and it's just got a, a hole through the center and that won't fit through there because it's too fat. Let me see. This is a hole through here. It's a very small hole obviously that I have left but you see you can put something through that and that's your bead made out of um, shape and that's the only bone shape one I've got left here by the look of that um, unless I've got it in another place and that could be very possible but see I made a few of those one time on here I come on here and I made a fair few of them but now I've seen um, uh, Wendy Mason's channel and a, a lady had sent her some beads made out of these big shapes and I thought oh, I could do that it's so much fun I've only just finished painting around here and I'm hoping that you can see what I'm showing you and that is a bead I've just put the uh, I might have to put another coat of paint around don't know yet for sure but that's what my bead looks like and there is a hole goes through here right to the other side coming out there you want to see me <laughs> get out of the camera anyway so you can put like I said a piece of wire through and make a hoop a, a, a little ring part on the end or actually I don't know if that's dry it could be I ain't going to touch it but I could um uh, you know and use it for something or put hang it down on the front of your thing around your neck or anything like that I'm going to show you putting that through there shortly but then I want to do here's another one that I did and I did the gold paint and I copied that lady what she made and I feel not bad but good because <laughs> I really liked them and I really wanted to do one so I hope you don't mind that I copied yours I um Got the, and I'm going to show people how I did them um, because I don't know but I think I think other people have done them a different way to me I don't know, I can't remember because I did that a video a fair while ago alright so now I've got a well I've got a Peter Rabbit one here ready to go but I'm going to wait till I get up to that part okay to do that now I have a, um, a big shot machine and I do have a scan and cut which I don't use <laughs> got no room to use it okay I do love my big shot but I haven't used it for a long time and it has got a um, really thick um, uh, die and that you can cut fabric with so I was able to use that to cut out the cardboard shapes out of cardboard <coughs> like so for my what I want to do right now I'm thinking that this piece of cardboard that I've done that's big enough okay that's thick enough that one so I'll be able to get two out of this um, with the other beads that I did I put a whole heap where did I put them? Are they back in here? I told you that have been a different place because I didn't put them in. this I cut out a whole heap of um, pieces of paper and put them together to make these ones right Today, or yesterday, when I was doing these, I cut out the thick cardboard. I also had pieces of um, like corrugated card, and you can actually see that through in there. Look, I wonder if I bring this down a bit. Which way, Sonia? Yeah, back that way. Okay, so there's a, you can see, whoops, no you can't. I'm down here. There's a camera now. From, and now that's a smaller one that I did. Because the, the the dye things that I used, the dye, it was because it's thick. It only had it's got <laughs> sorry a few flower shapes. <laughs> it has this flower, 
this flower and this big flower shape so I cut out I want to do this one because I've got two really nice fairy pictures that I thought look really good on that fairy pictures and there's another fairy picture but I'm going to just do one today to show you how I do them okay so I'm I'm saying to myself this is thick enough right I've decided that that's thick enough so now I want to put the fairy on there and figure out if I put which is the best place to put the, the thing to thread the piece through whether it'll go from there to there the top way down to there or that way um, I think because it's not um, I think I'll go straight through that bit there so when it hangs if you put it onto something like a ring through there you know you get the wire you can get a really long um, thing which you use in your jewelry making and you could put one of them through there uh, eye pin I think they're called um, you could put a really long one of them through there and just hang that and put it around your neck like it's a bead or use it for, to put on your journals too that'll be really good and interesting place to use it so I'm going to this, now I've decided that I want to do that there straight up the centre okay so I'm going to get a <coughs> I know I just dropped my pencil on the floor I do so I'm just going to go and make a line up the centre here well pretty much pretty close to the centre and I'm over a bit it's a bit skew with but <coughs> when I cut it it should be right I hope now I'm going to come this far over the side of the line I am because I'm, I'm sure I've made it a bit crookeder than what I would have liked to have done cut that and I should have used the other pair of scissors and this top now I'm going to cut down the line but I've made it skew with so I won't be going exactly on the line all the way I'm trying to straighten it out so I've taken out that nice piece there okay all right now this is only very flimsy <clears throat> so I did cut out yesterday a lot of um, pieces that were paper I was going to use them but I'll use them today to help reinforce this a bit <clears throat> now I'm going to get the paper and I'm going to actually I'll get the, this it'd be better to use this part if you and you put glue on here Glue on here and glue that up and then you get your <laughs> you line it up because you can't see what I'm doing I can't see what I'm doing because my own hands are in the road but you want to line that up you know right to the edge of that if you can do your best there to get that on there so I've got glue everywhere <coughs> I'll just roll it off instead of and I'll do this side. <clears throat> I'm actually the piece of card that I'm using is actually off the back of one of my paper pads because I thought it was a lot easier than I've actually stuck a whole heap together to try and get one thick enough. I had a rice bubble packet this morning, but I use that for something else. So, so you just want to make sure that you've got all those bits. So get right, see this. You've got that little edge, you've got that little ridge going through there now. Okay, so all you need to do is put. Um, actually, this is probably what I've done is probably been a good idea after all. But I'm going to put two pieces on here, because you know, this is a front bed, and it's up to you how much you use, like how many layers you want to put on. Because I'm thinking I might leave that and then you can journal on that bit <clears throat> on the back of the bead if you put in your journals that's a good idea Sonia now where's the hole here's me hole here <clears throat> so I need to put that like that so when it goes on it's got to go so that's over the hole now I'm not waiting for it to dry too much too quick because I might have to wiggle something about so I want to get on this on here as fast as I can in case I have to wiggle something about <clears throat> uh, and if that camera turns off I'll be very sorry about that but I'll have to make another I'll have to keep working on make another video 
so that's going to be there's your hole <coughs> right straight down the center of your bead now if you feel like you don't want it to be that um because that's not a very strong piece i don't think i might be inclined to stick another bit over that i've got another piece here with um writing it's only a piece of paper it doesn't matter you can have as much as you like <laughs> It'll just make it feel a bit more secure, as far as I can see. I'd like to know that it's going to stay there for as long as long can possibly be. So if you've got your, your, your side piece, doesn't matter, does it? I could move it so my, so my writing is up the right way. Or my the lines are going like that. It doesn't matter, does it? No. Now you can do that that way, I suppose you could, and hang, put the wire through there, which I'll get, I'll do that in a minute, we'll get to that part shortly, but there you go, there's your giant bead, giant flower bead, which I can't seem to find the thing to get in the shot, so look at that, isn't that cool, good hole, it's not going to close up, it's absolutely awesome, right now, this is dry, thank goodness, it's got a lot of stuff on it but I do like that this one's dry too is it ah oh, no <laughs> stuck my hand up no because I've put a lot of um gold on and I'll put, probably put a bit more on that also this is good for putting it around your edges so you finish off your edges really nice I could probably paint the back too hey eh? what do you reckon in that way on this one it probably needs to be a bit of paint on it because it's got nothing on it I could put a I could put a bit of stuff though that I could um, draw on or not ev whatever or I could just use this as a, a hanging down bead on something this is look really good in a vintage journal or something I think as a charm thing hanging off it's a little bit big but that don't matter it doesn't matter at all look at that now that looks really awesome don't you think I do like it but <coughs> I'm thinking other people might too hard to put them down to dry them now, because I've got Peter Rabbit here ready to go, he's going to get himself some some gold. So all I just did was put lots of gold paint. I tried the, um, what's the name? Distress pens? No, nope, no way. It won't do it. It doesn't do it. Because, too, I'm also using a shiny paper. I say shiny gloss paper, you know, that come out of the book. It's all glossy, so, but see, if you do this, it's going to come around that side, but it's not going to hurt, it's just going to look good. It's all going to look good. Just a tiny bit, I'm trying to, try not to get too much on that side. There's, his, there's a hole, Peter Rabbit. It's nearly big enough for his burrow, isn't it? <laughs> But, you know, you want to be able to put a piece of ribbon or something through there. Piece of ribbon, piece of string, piece of wire, whatever you want to fasten it up with. And that's the how I do mine. I don't know if, I, if I'm saying... It, this is what I just come up with when I did the, the ones for the bones, how to, how to put it together. I don't know if somebody else has got a better idea. If they have, well, that's good, I, but I do like my idea because I, well, the way I did it. I don't know if I got it off anybody or not. I can't remember that either. But I found it so much easier. Well, I don't know what other way there would be, really. I suppose there's different ways of people making a hole down the centre of it. Just poke something through there, I guess. Let's go and find another video on them and see what I can... There's an easy way, but I don't think that wasn't too bad. It didn't take long, do we? That did it. So here's Peter Rabbit. In all his glory. Do, oh, I did watch that story. Um, Betty, um, Debbie Vignola, if you're watching this, I'm here to tell you that that was the best movie for a long time I've seen was Peter Rabbit. I don't know if you've seen it yet, but I've seen it, and I just, and even my husband loved it. He thought it was great too. <laughs> he did, so that was good. Oh well, 
Now I've got some on the back. You know that's crafting. It's okay. I'm not. I'm not going to be um, worried about that. There you go. So these Peter Rabbit. A Peter Rabbit bead. Looks like a big Peter Rabbit biscuit, doesn't it? Now I'll take that one off there because you know what I shouldn't have painted the back, but it should be dry now because there it is. But I'll have to do around these others, and I don't think I could bore you with that. I'm sorry, I better not do that because I've got to. I'm going to make a thing through here. I just might use a bit of this up. I don't want to waste this. I don't know what possessed me to do that. I think it wasn't coming out, you know, and when you squirt it too hard, it just all comes out then, doesn't it? It happens that way. It goes from one thing to another sometimes, especially when you're doing a video. I don't know if I introduced myself when I started this. I can't remember things sometimes. Oh, dear, oh, dear, I know. <laughs> I just got so many things on my mind... That's what, the, that's what the doctor told me years ago. I <laughs> kept forgetting stuff. And he said, well, it wasn't why I went to him, but I just said that. And he said, um, well, he said, the amount of things that we learn over the years, he said, and we goes into our brain, he said, you can't keep it all stored there fair in front, in the front, can you? So it made me feel a bit better. You go digging for it. Our brain's got a lot of stuff in them, eh? We just got to go find it. Okay, now where am I going to sit this? Right, no, got nothing. I need another little uh, thingy like that. Is this dry, this one? Oh, the underneath part might be. I can sit that down there and put this on here. And hopefully it won't get it everywhere. I'll just show you this one. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, I think there's another one here. It's a nice little one, isn't it? Okay, right. I will paint around that later. I'll try not to make too much mess of myself and everything while I put some wire through that. Just to show you what to do with that. And I've got wire down here. And <laughs> I've got some green. This will do for today. This will do. It'll work. <clears throat> now, I've been... I've, I lost these. You know where I lost them? In the paint box. I just found them in my paint box. So if you put the wire through here, like so, and you just want to make a circly thing, but I need it to go the other way, don't I? I need it to go on a, on a sideways so it'll... You can curl it around as many times as you want to. I think I might do it again to make it a bit more. And this has got paper on this wire. So there's a good chance that I can put some... I hope it doesn't pull through. I'm stuck to the back of this. Because <laughs> obviously it wasn't dry. Probably didn't come off that the paint. So that's good. So we can put that on there. And then, of course, you can fasten this in the same and put something, hang off something off the bottom. Uh, be a good thing if I had my jewellery making stuff just handy. I did have it here the other day. Yeah, there's always a way, though, isn't it? It's always there when you don't need it. That's too long. Get a bit more off that. And just turn this round. I shouldn't have let that go. Whoa, I'm stuck to this thing. <laughs> you need both these facing the same way. That's pulling through there, that's not good. So you're getting too tough now. You're getting too tough with it. I might need that too tight. You let it off a bit. Goodness me, I'm going done a bit. Hope you can see what I'm doing here. I'm trying not to make a mess, but it's not worth 
probably very good. <laughs> if I turn this round here, it's too far. I guess it's... For somebody that does beading, they're going to do this real easy. Maybe there's lots of other people that don't do beatings and do it easier than me too. Because I'm not... Because I'm on the video though, it's not going <laughs> to... Oh dear. I guess I'm leaning over there. My body said, don't do this. I'm... Hang on a minute. I'm just here with you, okay? I've got this green stuff... How come one worked all right and this one's not? Okay. Well, what you want to do is make a loop, okay? <laughs> so, I've got that there. And you know what looks so bad? Because the paper's coming off it. Well, it makes it look worse than what it, I've already done it, okay? One of those two go on the same way. There's all the paper coming off here. You can't get it with that. It's not tweezers. You've got the general idea of what you could do. <laughs> anyway, people, all you need then is to hang something off the bottom. I think it'll look absolutely gorgeous. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? That's a bit over the top, but why not? Well, I want to do that now, don't I? Wait a minute till I un undo that. So on my uh, shabby chic bead, I put a shabby chic bead with a picture on it. Look at that. Now that's a big bead, isn't it? <laughs> you can put it on the side of your book, the back of your book, the front of your book, whatever you wanted to do. You can even hang it round your neck if you felt so inclined. But that's how you make a bead. That's how I make a bead um, with the die cuts and with a hole in it so you can use it <laughs> on your your books or whatever you want to do with it. You know, that'd be really cool if you had more on the top and it lifted up and you could write on it like a little book, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh dear. Oh, I hope I'm getting my mojo back. Won't that be awesome? I don't know what else. Oh yeah, I did some little things last night that I was really cool with. Look at these. I've made these tiny, tiny little envelopes. I do like little tiny, tiny things. I've got paint all over me and it is dry. Look at that, and you undo it, okay, you undo that, and then you, uh, in this area, wait a minute, I'm going to, and then in here, <laughs> there's a, a note, look at this, a note paper, note paper, and you can put your own secret on there, and then you can put it in there, and close it up, and put it in one of your journals or whatever and just keep it there for private little note and that was really easy to make that little tiny book and there's another one and it's got the same you know there's a little piece of paper and that inside of it okay so thank you everybody for watching and I hope you have a go at these interesting new beads there's lots of different shapes I've got shapes for uh, well you can use whatever shape you want to cut out it's not that hard um, when I say it's not that hard it's if you want to cut out, well, there's another one I've done with the rabbits on it. Got a rabbit on it. And, well, if I put it through the big shot, they're good. And if you want to just do lots of paper, the heart shape, you should be able to do them really easy. They're not hard to make. If you just try to do one and then cut it out yourself a bit at a time, just cut them out. It's a bit of work, but, you know, it's probably worth it because they are unique, and I think, and they are really nice. Okay, so thank you everybody for watching and we'll talk two years later. And just leave me a comment. Say hello, Sonia. <laughs> okay, I mean, it's nice to see your comments. I do read them all and I do notice the ones that keep on responding to and talking to me, you know, so it's really good. So thank you everybody for watching and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.